So with me here today, I have the Gigabyte P55UD3R. So this is their second from the bottom as far as launch P55 boards go. It does still include Ultra Durable 3 and Smart 6 technology. So uh, let's have a look at the accessory package that comes with it here. We've got the user's manual, uh, oh, <laughs> which has the I.O. shield in it here. So there we go. Then we've got the driver and utility DVD. Then we've got a little Gigabyte sticker. Then we've got the Smart 6 manual the regular user's manual, four SATA cables, and one IDE cable, so it's a fairly standard uh, accessory package we've got here, so there's our little divider. Let's get the board pulled out here. It actually looks uh, looks not too shabby for a, for a lower-ish end board. Now, what you may have noticed about the front of the box, and I'm going to close it up here for just a second, is that there is no support on this board for Crossfire or SLI. So even though we've got two 16x PCI Express slots, actually we do have Crossfire support. Sorry, sorry. No SLI. That's the difference. Okay, so we're also missing some other higher end features. Like for example, all the SATA 2 ports are not the right angle ports. They're the old, older style sticking out of the board ports. Like all P P55 boards, we've got an LGA 1156 socket here. We've got two, four banks of DDR3 dual channel RAM slots. You can see we've actually got a fairly beefy sort of um, VRM solution as well as VRM cooling solution. So that's an eight phase power setup. And then let's have a look at the, uh, oh right, uh, connector placement. So you've got your eight pin up at the top left of the board and you got your 24 pin in the desirable spot along the very top right of the board. So let's have a look at the I.O. panel. You've got a pretty standard I.O. panel here. You've got 10 USB ports. That's really nice to see. You've got one of those cool keyboard mouse PS2 combo ports. You've got digital audio and then a couple eSATA ports, one gigabit ethernet and a 7.1 audio. So you can tell that it is a bit of a, a younger brother to the UD4P but it is quite feature complete, especially if you want to run Crossfire. You can actually load quite a high-end system on this board. So thank you for checking out the P55 UD3R.